Thanks for joining me for my in-depth look at the upcoming nuclear cell. We still have plenty to talk about here, so we're going to look at both the house shot, which is on the screen now, and the Nationals DNS footage in this video with the out-of-box surface. The surface comparisons I mentioned in the review will happen in other videos. Once again, my layout is 5x3.5x2.5, by by which has been my ASIM standard lately. That shades it, uh, shades it towards weaker on the pin, but a strong mass bias placement and a pin buffer number, so it's a pretty dynamic layout. Like we saw in the review, this is a very sharp reaction. I think it'd be plenty dynamic without any help from the layout, but I wanted to key in on a few things that we didn't get to in the review. The friction response of this ball is obviously incredibly fast. It sniffs dry and it's gone. However, the overall strength of this cover shouldn't be underestimated. As I've said before, some things are easier felt while throwing the ball than seen on video, but this time the video helped me confirm something that I only saw glimpses of or wasn't quite sure if I was reading right while I was bowling. My mechanics are highly questionable, so quite often I'll make a physical error that confused me because I didn't feel it or I didn't feel it. I didn't feel like it was as bad as the result would indicate, so sometimes I'm stuck wondering if it was all me or if the ball and or lane contributed to the full extent. So visually we're seeing length and pop, just a surface value look will give that initial impression. But if you look closely on the majority of these shots, the ball is trying to move earlier. It's trying to slow down, it's trying to dig in and move. Several of these shots on both conditions that I thought I got slow on or grabbed appeared on video to be gaining early hints of traction, especially from the straighter angles. And once I get deeper inside, the combination of the increased angle and oil volume seem to mitigate the cover strength to a point, but it's definitely grabby when some actual firm friction starts to show up. Again, I'll have surface adjustment comparisons in other videos and the results there were mixed, but the nuclear is all kinds of strong with the shine on it to begin with. Moving to the 2019 Open Champs doubles and singles shot, I was, I was pretty stunned. Uh, over the last several reviews, there's been a lot of strong stuff that I expected to chew through this. We had the UFO and the Omega, did a lot of filming for a lot of stuff, including the physics. Halo, Phase 2, Idle, and some pretty strong shiny ASIMs, but the shiny nuclear is holding its own in terms of hook. Uh, because of the shine, I've got a super small window left to right from straighter. Now, once I move in and have some room to work with, it gets better, but anytime you're on something fresh that's heavier volume and longer, shine isn't going to be your friend, especially factory polish. Now, the sheer amount of motion on the back end helps me get away with misses a bit to the right, but there's less than zero room left at any point throughout the lane. Sometimes two or three wrongs do make a right if they're working together, like if you miss right but get slow, or miss left and don't catch it at the bottom, you can sometimes get away with stuff even on something more challenging like this. Now, that wasn't the case with the nuclear to the left. If I didn't have enough angle through the fronts, there was zero hope. There was no hope of keeping it on the right side of the head pin. Again, despite this not being a good idea for a condition like this, at least not until you get a few games of friction in the track anyway, it's manageable. The thing to take away here though is the actual strength of this cover. There's usually a fairly noticeable difference between the house shot and this shot, and I'm not seeing near as much as I usually do. 28.4 mils is a lot of volume, and the fact that it's getting enough traction through that to get it through the stages of ball motion properly without it hydroplaning and jerking and being really over under or inconsistent should raise your eyebrows. When it hits friction, it's ready to hook. It's not hitting the back end and burning up or quitting. It's ready to go unless I just throw it out the window. Now this is an important note to make when considering actual cover and overall ball strength, not just how quick it is on friction. Now like I mentioned earlier, despite the snappy shape, it's getting earlier traction and trying to slow down. The High Road Pearl, for example, really booms on the house shot too, but the fresh on this slows it down quite a bit. This will result in it handling higher friction better, but not being in play on this condition for several games, and maybe not at all. The nuclear, however, will handle this and even more, but it looks like it'd grind to a halt on any type of friction. That's it for this one. We'll dig even deeper on the surface comparisons. Pun intended. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>